Okay. Today, uh, I'm going to be recreating Birkeland currents on a magnet. I have three magnets in there, just so I've got a good strength of field. Uh, they are three quarter inch uh, by half inch neodymium magnets. Uh, three of them on a piece of glass, on a piece of cardboard, just to raise it up so it's near this glass piece at the top. I, uh, I'm going to zoom in. I would, but something fell off. I'm going to zoom in with my phone camera. So I'll just put the lens on it so that we should be able to get nice and close. Okay, what I'm now going to do is now I'm going to add pure ferrofluid. Do not use any ferrofluid that is mixed with uh, mineral oil or anything like that. Must be pure ferrofluid. So here we go. I'm going to put in this. Oh, too late. It's already happening. And so what we see is the impulsion of spheres. Because this is what a collisionless shock wave is. When the sun expulses an electromagnetic wave, it produces a collisionless shock wave where all matter is separated by the field into spheres, which is what we are seeing here. Those are spheres of ferrofluid being rotated in. I'm going to try and get a better shot. Maybe even zoom in, if I can. Okay, tell me I can zoom, but it's being a pain. Nope, so we'll just... So we'll just have to watch it like this. So that is how easy it is to set up this experiment. <laughs> to prove that when you add energy or matter to a magnetic field, it separates particles into spheres. And that's what's happening there. So that's how to recreate and understand what's happening on a magnet. because it is impulsing in spheres of matter. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And I'm showing you all the things he showed me how to look for. Oh, camera's sliding around. All right, thanks a lot.